Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about density. So what is density? In order to kind of model what density is, we're going to start off by looking at some cubes. So these cubes here are all the same exact size. All of these cubes are the same size. That means they all have the same volume. Volume is how much space something takes up. So if they're the same exact size, that means they have the same exact volume. So all of these cubes have the same exact volume because they are the same exact size. So it appears that the only thing different about them is their color since they're the same exact size. So we're going to switch the camera here and we are going to take the mass of each of these. Sorry, it's a little backwards. All right, so the mass of this cube is 45 grams. The mass of this cube is 137 grams. The mass of this cube is 19 grams. The mass of this cube is 127 grams. And this cube has a mass of 10 grams. So even though they're all the same exact size, they each have a different mass. And that's kind of what density is. Density is how much stuff is packed into a space. The more stuff that's packed into a space, the more density it has. The less stuff that's packed into the space, the less dense it is. So this cube that had a mass of 127 is gonna be more dense than this cube that had a mass of 13 because there's more stuff packed into this space. It makes it feel heavier, it's denser. Imagine if you and 99 other people were standing on a football field. You would have plenty of space to move around, so it would not be that dense. But imagine you and those 99 other people had to all fit inside a classroom. You're gonna be very squished. That means it's more dense. So the more stuff that's packed into a space, the more dense it is. So um, I'm gonna share my screen here. And we'll just look at this real quick. So again, density is comparing how much matter or how much stuff is packed into a certain amount of space. So if we look at these two squares, which one do we think is more dense? Do we think this one is more dense or this one is more dense? Notice that these are just like the cubes. They are both the same exact size. They have the same exact volume, but which one is more dense? This one is more dense because there's more stuff packed into the same space. Now let's look at this example. Now which one is more dense? Now they have the same amount of stuff, same amount of stuff, but this one is much bigger and this one is much smaller. So which one would be more dense? This one is more dense because they're packed into this, a smaller space. It's the same amount of stuff but now it's packed into a smaller space. So when we're calculating density, we have to take our mass divided by our volume. So how much mass it has, if you put it on a scale, how much mass it has versus how much space it takes up. So density is mass divided by volume, mass divided by volume. So when you see this unit here, the centimeters cubed, it does not mean you have to take the volume and cube it. What that means is that volume is a measure of length times width times height for, regular, for a regular object. So that's just what gives us the cube. You don't have to do anything with the number if you have the units for volume. You just take your mass volume, divide it by your, your mass units, and divide it by your volume units. Okay, so today you're going to be working with your teacher to practice calculating density and then tomorrow we're going to learn how we can use density to figure out what each of these blocks are made of. Thank you.